When was the last time you tried something new? Huh? Ask yourself that, and might it make you happy? Let's check it out. Hey everybody, it's Scott and Jeff. We're here uh, to talk about being happy, how to be happy. One thing you absolutely have to do is get out of your rut and try new things. New hobbies, new activities, new sports, whatever that may be. I've got a few ideas uh, that I've, I think could be good. It's good to have ideas. It's good to have ideas, yeah. right? So get outside for outside things. Gardening, camping, hiking, fishing, hunting. Become a barbecue master. Ooh. The fact is, is you probably have way more time than you think that you do yeah. to be able to try these things, especially if you root out of your life all of the nonsensical, electronic, binge-watching yeah. crap like that. I was just in Fergus Falls, Minnesota. Fergus. Fergus Falls. And the guy that I was working Minnesota. with. Minnesota. We, yeah, we were doing uh, we were doing some uh, presentations there, you know, doing our thing, and and this guy is a competitive barbecuer. He oh. goes to barbecue competitions. Not, good. not like your Weber is better than my other McCollman. No, they make the meat. Right. It's, I think uh, we I'd understand. Never, yeah, I'd never really heard of that before, but competitive barbecue. Well, it sounds so like, good right oh now because we're very hungry. And it's a nice summer day. Yeah. Yeah. But outside things, right? Then sort of intellectual hobbies, things that you can do. Uh, reading a book, obviously. Oh, You've set a goal to read a book, you that know. That is my hobby. You know, since I But started, you listen to books. Or listen, yeah, and there's the whole, I mean, that's a whole other episode we could talk about. Listening versus is reading yeah versus we've AD talked readers, about it blah 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 <laughs> but i'm telling you since i started doing audiobooks my content and the, the quantity has just skyrocketed well i will give awesome. you this for audiobooks if you're not if you're if you're doing something where you're you're idle and i mean where your ears are idle you know you're jogging you're working out you're doing something yeah. else yeah. listening to an audiobook is definitely preferred over just listening to music yeah. cuz that doesn't really do much of anything i mean it can lift your mood yeah but you yeah. might as well multitask a little bit sure. Sure. or if you're going to bed at night yeah. you know listening to an audiobook mm -hmm. or something it's like that a good that. time where you got total focus but otherwise you know also just grabbing a book it's there's something about actually reading which is still very good for the oh, brain yeah. and for your own development yeah. learn an instrument a musical instrument what, which one is that? That would be my voice. Oh, okay. doing family history. A lot of people are into genealogy oh, these days. Huge. When it comes to fitness, getting out and biking and jogging and working out, using weights. Stand on a football field. Yoga, dance. Well, we're here on a football field. We're going to show you. We're going to try something new because yeah. we've never done it. Both of us have loved soccer for ages, and neither of us have ever really played it. No. Both of us have also loved football, American football, and football and everywhere else is soccer, and none of us have ever really played. I mean, I've played, you know, you play in the neighborhood, you play yeah, you 500, around. you play yeah. catch. We used to play a lot, but, yeah. but we're going to try some stuff here. Cooking, canning, furniture restoration, carpentry. There's all Crafting. kinds of stuff. Yeah, all kinds of crafts and skills that you can start doing if you'll just kind of think about what it is that you like. You'll be happier because you won't have as much time to sit around not being happy. Yeah. So in the interest of, uh, of us trying something new, and it's World Cup right now, and at press time, World Cup is happening. Probably by the time you watch this, it won't be. But uh, we thought that we would, because <clears throat> we always think it looks so easy to score a penalty oh. kick. These guys, they're professional soccer players. They score from 20 feet, and they act like they've... Yeah. You know, and invented a cure for cancer. Yeah. You know, it's like, come on, you just kicked it past one guy standing in a goal 10 feet from you. How hard is that? So we're each going to take a crack at it. You get uh, you get three shots. Okay. How hard is it to be a goalie, and how hard is it to kick one? Okay. Are you ready to try I'll this? I'll go on the goal first. All right, so Jeff's going to, you're going to be the goalie first? The goalie first. Okay. I think it's the yellow line. I don't know. That looks a little far. Really? Doesn't it? The yellow lines are the ones that see the box, the big box. Oh, you're right. Yeah, the, the the soccer box is yellow, so this must be the penalty spot right here. And we've got three balls. We I was able to borrow these from some neighbors, the Rossiters, because um, even though I have five sons, they're all older, and all of our balls are. Be careful how I say that. Flat. All right, you got this first one, first shot. Going to Jeff. He doesn't know where I'm going. Okay. That's one nothing. All right, leave it there. You're good. Here comes number two. Not as hard. I, I just kicked it wherever I thought it might go. Now I'm going to try to get it somewhere specific. 
All right, you got a hand on it. Yeah, that was nice. How'd that feel on your hand? Yeah, you got to have gloves. Let's just go right up the gut. Yeah, see? Scary, painful, but I'm three for three. So it's 3 0. And Jeff now, well, let me get you your other ball. <clears throat> and I can feel myself, my heart. <laughs> I got caught up in the net. Okay, Jeffy Burke. It's three nothing, Spain. You're kicking it with your toe. I know. Okay, I'll do it with mine. No, no, you're, you kick it however you want. I don't care. Ah, that was right at you. See, I, I forced him to step out of his shell, do something different. Ah! Oh! Three to two, feels good. Now at my age, my height, my weight, that actually was a workout. Walking from the net to Nate at the camera is a workout. <laughs> so what happens when you work out? Endorphins. Yeah. It feels good. Yeah. How do you feel? I feel like I'm ready to end. <laughs> it's because he's old and he lost. <laughs> Take note of that. Well, that was fun, actually. We hadn't done that before. I've never kicked penalty kicks, and I've never yeah. stopped them. Yeah. And I've been watching soccer for years. What sort of events have you tried? Activities, hobbies? Have you picked up anything new recently that you'd like to share with us as a recommendation for happiness? Leave your comments below, and make sure you like us. We'll see you next time.